Welcome to Wrestling Monkeys. I am Jay Blair. And quick news update. Uh, apparently, Dai is planning, first of all, to make Backlash a two-show pay-per-view. Apparently, due to ticket sales, the split brand pay-per-views are not doing too well. Which I now am confused on um, how... They will be doing the other pay-per-view they already put in that month. But I assume we will know soon. But apparently, at that show, they are not just planning to do like a Supercell shake-up. They are planning to do a full-on draft. I don't know how that would really work. But even if they do it, I wouldn't expect the losses to switch too much anyways. Speaking... Unless you keep it, you have to at least keep some people on Raw and SmackDown because it would just make no sense at that point. Because you would just be switching losses and that would just be ridiculous. But I really hope they don't do any title switches like they did last time. I think they is good with the title switch and I think SmackDown, besides Jinder Mahal, really, I think. SmackDown has, uh, will be doing good with the WWE Championship. And the uh, whole United States title open thing is good. And Intercontinental just fits on well. The Universal fits on well. And you also have to kind of switch the Universal color. And I think it will look pretty stupid in blue. But what do you guys think of a full draft coming at Backlash? I feel... A backlash is just a random thing to do it. But let us know what you think in the comments below. This has been Wetson Monkeys, and I've been Jay Blair. Good night.